you want to start simple. You want to start with absolutely nothing but one camera, one take. Whatever you've got is, is enough to get going because any video that you produce is better than no video that you produce. Uh, you're still going to get out there. It's still going to get noticed. It's still going to get some attention for you. But as you start to get into video and you want to get a little more technical, I mean, it does help to have decent lighting. You know, it makes a be very big difference. Makes Everything you can do with a little bit of extra equipment makes your editing much simpler after the fact. There's less touch-up, there's less adjusting the color. So getting a couple of soft box lights, uh, you can get them on Amazon for under 200 bucks. It's amazing. You can get a whole set of three of them. Uh, you just position them to get a little bit of light coming from both sides of your face. So you get rid of some of that, get rid of some of that shadow. Uh, light your background a little bit so that it separates you a little bit from the background. All of that makes your video look better and it makes it a lot easier. But the most important thing about video has nothing to do with video. Does anyone know what the most important thing is to make your video look better? In the back there. Audio, right? Does that sound weird to anybody? The audio makes the video look better. It's just a weird brain thing. If you've got an awesome video in 1080p with crappy audio, it makes the entire experience terrible. You can have a horribly grainy video, but if it has crystal clear audio, it still works. So the trick when you go to buy a camera is make sure that it has an external jack so that you can plug in an external microphone that wires it. You can't use the microphone that's in the camera unless you're literally holding it within two feet of your face. It's just going to be terrible. Um, you can get fancier and get wireless mics and get you know uh, that as you go. So there are a lot of inexpensive cameras. You don't need an expensive camera. You don't need expensive equipment to do this. But you do have to read the little technical details on Amazon and try to find a model that has an external jet. Otherwise, don't waste your money. Okay, so let's leave it at that. Yeah, and editing, we did um, what you can do on Windows because it comes right in the operating system. Right. You right. all it's have editing right software. If you've got a Mac, we started with iMovie. Yes, we're using Final Cut Pro now. Yes, we're not just using consumer grade everything, but that's how we started. So we could see it. You saw in an earlier one a flip camera. You can't buy them new anymore, but you can still get them around. That's your cell phone. The quality on my cell phone, I have to degrade some because the files are too big. It's too good. Let's go to something else, too. Getting on camera is as easy we have a course on that as talking to somebody in a neighborhood barbecue. Start there, right? Jeremy and I, Jeremy and I went to the um, Dan Kennedy group for a lot of years, and we would just sit there at the table and we'd have a conversation. We didn't get all nervous about, oh my God, I'm going to go in front of the camera. You know, they talk about being on video or standing in front of talking to people. People fear it more than death. <laughs> really? What do they say on Saturday Night Live? Obviously, really? we're strange people. Come on, seriously? <laughs> it's not that. And then the nice thing is, if you don't like it, throw it away. It right. never has to see the light of day. So start slowly. Start with baby steps. We'll talk more about the course that we have on that, if that's some interest for you. But again, if you are the reason people come to your business, if you have a degree that people look for, you're a doc as I say, a doctor, a lawyer, an accountant, a counselor, or something like that, a candlestick maker, you need to be there on video. You don't want somebody showing up to one of a hundred cardiologists in your hospital system. You don't get paid if they go to him or her and not you. You want them to know who you are. It's an important thing. Start with small steps. Right. I just want to really underscore something that Charlie said. One of the biggest things that get people to stop in their tracks when they think about video is fear. You know, the fear of looking stupid on camera. Because most people... Wait a minute, that's a fear? Yeah, we're, it's a fear. We're afraid of looking stupid on... No, we do it on purpose. We're okay. professional. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I just heard that. Okay. But the, the association that people make mistakenly is they think of the camera and they think of what Charlie and I are doing right now, standing in front of a group of people. A lot of people don't like to be on this side of the audience, okay? And they think the camera is the same thing, but it's not. You are in complete control of the camera environment. There is no audience until you hit publish. Right? You get to stop, review it, edit it, throw it away, start over. You can do, we did one, for one video, 57 takes, uh, you know, un, until we got the one that we were happy with. No one saw the other 55, right? Or 56. I did. Well, yeah, okay, he did. So 
don't fear the camera. It's your friend. It's, it, there's just so many good reasons for doing it. Okay. Well, we're going to talk about some reasons for why you need video. Uh, this is a series that, I've, that is still ongoing that I'm working on called Why why you need video. This is reasons three through eight. If you got uh, some of the emails that Charlie's been sending working our way up to this, there were reasons one and two that uh, he already sent to you, whether you saw them or not. This is reasons three through eight. And it's going to show off a couple of different styles of video here with animation. I'm sure they're going to show up here any minute now. Oh, you're here! Welcome. Video jumps right off this page. It's alive. It's engaging. It certainly is. We only become alive when you click on us here. You know what? Everyone can use video. Every kind of business can benefit from the power of video. From a Main Street business that just needs to get the word out, get found, and then have a simple call to action with contact information. It's great having all those videos out there attracting attention for you. That's right, but you might need to do more than that. Your business might have multiple products and have to do product demonstration or different services that you're trying to promote. Here we can get a whole lot more strategic and targeted. It's so much easier to know how things work when we can see how they work in a video. Then the real power of video is to be professionally promoted, to have live talent on camera promoting you. It's like having a commercial and a testimonial all wrapped up in one. People believe things more when someone else says something nice about you. Absolutely. They'll tell you why they should be doing business with you. Do you know? 52% of consumers felt more confident about their buying decisions after they'd watched a video. That's more than half the people. Shoppers who viewed video, they were, this is amazing, 174% more likely to make a purchase than those who didn't watch a video. Well, of course, they understand things a lot better that way. You know, you want to get your word out, you want people to share your message. Well, 92% of people who watched mobile video, they shared that video with other people. You know, video shows up really well on smartphones and tablets. You get the sense it's going to the video marketing guys? <laughs> yeah. We really appreciate your attention. Thank you very much.